when I was invited for the session, I had a, some expectation. Um, I thought it was going to be a short session. We'll sit and gist and uh, discuss ideas about what we do, what we're doing, what we're not doing well. Um, but Bolaji took the session uh, to a whole new realm that um, flogged my imagination. I mean, I think while I was writing down, I wrote down up to 100 points and I had my three critical points that I'm going to uh, get back to the office and start tackling immediately. So it was punchy, it was straight to the point, it was candid, and I look forward to doing this again. Um, like um, some lady said inside the venue, she thought it was some marketing product session or so. I had the same impression. Uh, I reluctantly came actually today, and if you notice, I was a bit late, but I got in and I saw that it was, some, it was something else actually. I was text, texting my boss, I was telling him that, it's a full-blown training and there were so many things. I was just busy writing, taking pictures of the slides and all that. And I mean, I think that some of the things that were taught here today, we could we would want to have like a full, fully fleshed out sessions on these things. So most times we'll do training as an event, learning and development as a nice to have without looking at the bottom line. So now with a new perspective he has brought. So I now need to drive it, having the business focus, carrying the line managers, the leadership team, stakeholders in my business, including my customers. The expectation was uh, met. It even exceeded the expectation. When I was coming in, I thought it was going to be like a marketing and networking session. My expectations were exceeded. Um, so when I was coming, of course, part of what um, I was interested in is um, definitely linking with other learning managers and um, finding out um, how I can improve in terms of that space and area for my organization. But uh, my greatest um, takeaway is um, that definitely you cannot give what you do not have. So it's important that even as learning managers, um, when you're giving out learning and you're helping others to develop, you also remember to focus um, on yourself and then also, you know, continue to improve yourself. So, I mean, this is a great way to start the year. Um, and then it put a lot of things into perspective um, for me and other learning managers. So, um, looking forward to more engagements like this. The takeaways for me to improve learning and development in my organization is something I've not given a thought to, but I think um, with this session, it's going to be very, um, I'm going to implement that. It was a very interesting experience and to know that as a learning and performance <laughs> manager now, like we call ourselves, um, the expectation for us and the business is very huge. And the session with Bolaji was um, just the icing on the cake to start the year. And it's been in very interesting for me to be here and, and, and I'm glad that I did make this session, yes. My expectations were surpassed and um, I, I think the takeaways for me were the implementation part. Um, there's so much um, mindset, you know, the aspect of the mindset. I think we have a number of that. But when it came to implementation, I think that really struck me. And I saw so many, many gaps in um, my organization as, you know, um, Mr. Bologi, you know, um, took that uh, part. It was, it was very practical, very practical and great work from work, work for us.